I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday the 24th. Cold and unsettled weather is the story. We've got uh, multiple waves to deal with, and we'll talk about uh, each of these. So let's go right to the network this morning, the Skycam network, and we'll take a look out the window, if you will. That is the uh, Birmingham Skycam looking north from the top of the Daniel building. And uh, this morning, the sky is cloudy. We've got a few sprinkles around. have not heard of any snowflakes as of yet, but it's very possible. We'll hear of some reports before the morning is over. Down south, there's the Clanton City Hall down in Chilton County. And up north, that's U.S. Highway 278 in Cullman, just uh, east of downtown Cullman. Well, there's our uh, trough setting up over the east, and certainly that means a cold day today. And the uh, impulse that brought the snow to Texas yesterday is rotating through Louisiana this morning. And we'll peak at uh, temperatures this morning. You can see we've got readings below freezing up north. 31 for Coleman, 30 for Haleyville at 5 o'clock, Anniston 35, Tuscaloosa at 40. So even if any snowflakes do fall, we should be above freezing, so no problems are expected. There's the radar at 5 o'clock, and again, you can uh, see what we're watching there, the uh, most significant precipitation is down to the southwest of Birmingham over parts of Green, Hale, and Bibb and Perry counties, and that's moving northeast. And so it will be interesting to see what exactly comes from that uh, as it comes over Birmingham, whether it's any uh, snowflakes or sprinkles or maybe a combination. But again, we just don't expect any problems from that. Here's the uh, larger shot. You can see uh, the scattered light precipitation goes back through Mississippi and Louisiana, but the whole thing just is drying up. And uh, nothing like the big deal they had in Texas, where some areas down there below Dallas had over three inches of snow yesterday. So nothing more than just a minor deal for us here. Here's our watch warning map, but no doubt the big story is the northeast winter storm warnings up all the way from uh, Delaware to the interior sections of New England. And this thing is going to be a big-time blizzard, maybe one of historic proportion up there, as you'll see. Here's the overall QPF chart for the next five days, valid through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. And again, this is suggesting not much here. Uh, we could see a little bit with this next wave coming in here Friday night or Saturday morning, but like this one, it's just not going to be a big deal. The big one will be probably early next week, the next significant storm system. Look at modeling. This is the 06 GFS at noon today. There's the energy rotating through. Down below that, still some hint of sprinkles or flurries southeast of Birmingham at uh, midday today. But it's going to be cold, windy. I think the sky stays cloudy all day today. The temperature's probably going nowhere. And again, this uh, wave is the one we, we called Andrew. Now, let's look at tomorrow. We, we're going to be dry and cold, but the big story is what's happening up there at uh, Long Island. A 984 millibar low. Look at that. Goodness. Now, for Boston, it looks like uh, maybe all rain here, but uh, New York City and Philadelphia could be all snow or should be. And with something like that, you can expect winds gusting to almost hurricane force. I mean, it's very reminiscent of our blizzard of 93. If anything, it could be even more significant up there. This might be one for the history books. So uh, if you're trying to get up there tomorrow, you're not. If you're trying to fly... If you want to get up there, you better get up there today. Uh, Friday, here comes our next impulse over Texas. This is the one we call Bertha. And uh, down below that, a little snow breaks out around Shreveport in Texarkana at midday. We'll go to uh, Friday night at midnight. And this run now is in line with the European and the Canadian. It's shunning it far to the south. Uh, uh, you can see maybe a few flurries for Jackson. Then we'll go to uh, Saturday at midday, everything way down south. So if this keeps up in the 12Z run, I think we can almost take out that chance of sprinkles or flurries late Friday night or Saturday morning. It just looks cold on Saturday, breezy, highs in the 40s. Sunday, uh, we're in between the uh, waves there, kind of a ridge pumps up here. And, of course, the uh, next one shows up out there. And we're calling that one Clarence. And uh, down below that, we should be up in the 50s. Actually, Sunday could work out to be a pretty decent day if you want to get something done outdoors. And then uh, next week, Monday, here comes Clarence. There's the surface low. This run a little slower. The surface low is south of Morgan City. 
And the freeze line is actually up on the Tennessee state line, but look at Monday night at midnight. That freeze line drops to Montgomery, the surface low is south of Pensacola. And again, that hints at perhaps the possibility of some accumulating snow for parts of north-central Alabama. But this is voodoo. We're not forecasting that. We'd like to take them one at a time, so we've certainly got to get past Andrew this morning. We'd like to get past Bertha Friday night before we deal with Clarence. That will be in here Monday night of next week, and then we'll go to Tuesday at uh, midday. And you can see how the surface low is near Jacksonville. And that could be some significant snow for places like Anniston and Atlanta as everything winds down for Birmingham. But again, you'll see this look different many times, but just be aware the idea is on the table. And then Wednesday, the whole thing is gone. That looks cool and dry. We'll go deeper into March. This is March the uh, 10th, and this is the one we call Dolly. This run, not nearly as intense with uh, this one, a uh, 1,000 millibar surface low north of us, and that would suggest rain and maybe some thunder, but not the really major severe weather look like we've seen. But again, this will change many times again. And the Arctic Oscillation finally goes positive based on the GFS in mid-March. And what that should mean is an end to the really cold weather, an end to the winter weather mischief in the beginning of spring and also the beginning of the tornado season. And we all knew that at some point spring would indeed have to get here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.